When I was uh, a young man in my early teens, I had the misfortune, which turned out to be my good fortune, to develop bad allergies. Now, genetically, I was predisposed to allergies. My father had asthma. His siblings all had asthma. So it wasn't surprising that I developed these allergies. Particularly, I was sensitive to uh, pollens. But it was so bad that uh, it was just miserable. My eyes would actually get this yellow film on them, and it was really disgusting, and I would go through boxes of Kleenex in a day. I remember uh, shortly after I got married, I moved into allergy season and, and I was blowing my nose so much, my wife said to me, I don't understand how you can blow your nose that much because you don't drink that much. So I had a bad. Well, as I got older, uh, a little bit older, I outgrew my allergies. And then when I was in my early 30s, uh, my wife and I moved with our kids down to Las Vegas, Nevada. And shortly after I arrived in Las Vegas, my allergies came back with a vengeance. They were as bad as they had ever been. And I was looking for any kind of prescriptive relief I could get. Uh, unfortunately, everything I tried didn't work. I mean, that was my history. Uh, back in my earlier days, I tried several prescriptions and just nothing just seemed to help. Well, one day, I was I was complaining about this to one of my neighbors who happened to be a dentist, a man named Bill Roberson. And Bill said, well, it's probably just something in your yard that you're sensitive to, and you've just moved into town, so it's probably something that you're not used to being around. He told me that he had a hobby, and his hobby was electroacupuncture according to Vol. And he said, I don't do this as part of my practice, but if you want to go around your yard and break a twig of everything off in your yard, bring it down to my clinic after 5 o'clock tomorrow. I'll be happy to run a test and let's see if we can figure out something for you. So the next day I went around and I broke off twigs and I had three big grocery sacks full of twigs. And I took them down to Bill's office and after he locked the doors he, he said, okay, let's see what we can do. So he pulled out a machine similar to the one I showed you and he started to test, and he was poking my fingers, and this was totally new to me, and it was, it was, uh, it was weird. I'll, I'll tell you, it, when, I, when he started doing it, it was like, well, it's kind of painful, and it totally doesn't make any sense, and it's just weird. But Bill was a credible guy, and so I thought, well, you know, if, if a man as smart as Bill is, you know, is doing this stuff, there may be something to it. The other thing is, is I had allergies so bad that I would have probably sought for relief anywhere I could find it. And so just the fact that this was a weird experience wasn't enough to turn me off. So Bill finished the test, and, and as, he would pour, as he would probe the acupuncture point, in between each probe, he would then put a different twig on top of the, the test plate, which would put it in the circuit. And when he was done, he tested all three bags, he said, we were only showing a reaction to two things, oleanders and pyrocantha. And I thought, okay, well, I'm not used to oleanders and pyrocantha, too. Well, we, ha we happened to have this huge hedge of pyrocantha along the driveway uh, to our house. And in the backyard, there was this big hedge of, of oleanders. So they were new to me. I thought, okay, that's feasible. Well, then, then what happened is Bill said, let me ma make you a remedy. So he went over to his cabinet, and he pulled out another piece of equipment, and he pulled out uh, a little bottle, an empty dropper bottle, it was about three ounces, and he, and he got some vodka out of his cupboard and he poured the, out the vodka into the bottle. And I thought, this really is getting weird. But then he put this bottle of vodka onto this machine he just pulled out and he took the oleander and the pyrocantha twig and he put that on the other side. There were two wells and he put it into it. And he twisted some dials. And then he said, now what's happening is the energy from these twigs is being transmitted into the water molecule, the liquid molecule, and the reason I use vodka is because the alcohol acts as a preservative, so it keeps it longer. And I thought, well, if this was weird, this is really weird. But he then said to me, okay, take this, go home, put 10 drops of this under your tongue three times a day. And I did it. And Ten days later, my symptoms stopped immediately and completely. Now, I don't know if you've ever had allergies bad, but I had the itchy throat, the itchy brain, 
it, it was, you know, the runny nose, the, the misery that comes with all of that, uh, it was full on. And in one instant, just like that, all of that went away. And I thought, that's not possible. It, it, it's not possible that what I'm doing that Bill gave me has made that difference because nothing in my life has ever worked like that. And I tried lots of stuff. So I thought, it's got to be that today the oleanders quit blooming and so did the pyracanthus. So I went out in front and I saw the pyracantha hedge and the, and the pyracanthus were just still going crazy. Nothing had changed. And I went out back and the oleanders were just as happy and bloomy as they'd ever been. The only, only explanation that made any sense was this information that he gave me in this bottle actually made a difference. And so that started me on a path into energy medicine. I mean, you can't have an experience like that and not want to find out more. So a question in my mind was, what's really happening here? And those answers came to me as I got more and more involved in the, tech, in the technology. There is a doctor in Las Vegas by the name of Fuller Royal. Fuller, at the time, owned a clinic. And Fuller was uh, world-renowned for his work in energy medicine. He happened to be a friend of Bill's. And as Bill and I then talked about this, and I thanked Bill for what he had done for me, he said, well, let me introduce you to uh, Dr. Royal. So Fuller Royal then introduced me to this whole concept of energy medicine. And that's really what started me on a journey. Dr. Royal in Las Vegas introduced me to a physicist uh, by the name of Roy Curtin. And Roy was in the business of building technology based on EAV. Roy gave me lots of explanations, lots of insight into this whole idea of physics and quantum physics and entanglement. Uh, the ideas that actually are part of the history and the genealogy of what Zyto technology is today. We call the process that we use in Zyto technology biocommunication because it's a communication between the computer and the body. It's not a communication that is translated into consciousness. It happens at a subconscious level. And so we use information to stimulate a response, and we then read the response, and we have an algorithm we've developed that allows us to read the response and make sense out of it. We can, we can use biocommunication as a way to interrogate the body, as it were, um, fill out a subconscious survey. And so we call a lot of the processes we go through biosurveys because we're, we're inquiring at the subconscious level. All of this background and all of this information and other, other theories actually that I haven't talked about, but these are the giants whose shoulders we stand on at, Z at Zyto. So when somebody says to me, are you the person who developed the Zyto technology? The simple answer is yes, but the more uh, honest answer, frankly, is no. It was built by Shen Men 5,000 years ago. It was built by some Taoist monk who came up with yin and yang. It was built by Bill Roberson. It was built by Reinhold Voll. It was built by all of the people whose knowledge and experience and curiosity and information we are the benefactors of. But we pulled together concepts, theories, and ideas that allow us to do things that seem to be new and novel, but in context of the history where we come from, uh, we are simply the benefactors of that history and we are moving this technology forward.